Honorable Senators, I wish to draw your attention to the presence of the gallery of His Excellency Anselm Rans Ransport de Soa, High Commissioner for Ghana. He is the guest of the Honorable Senator Bovey. On behalf of all Senators, welcome to the Senate of Canada. <laughs> Senator Bovey. Thank you, Your Honor. Today, I want to update you, colleagues, on the Pan-African Heritage Museum. As I have said before, it is being built now in Accra, Ghana, and will open in the fall of 2024. It is particularly fitting that the High Commissioner of Ghana is here with us today. I thank him, his country, and the Ghanaian visionaries whose initiative is honoring and presenting the African global diaspora, including ours in Canada. As a member of the International Curatorial Council on this project, I developed a Canada-wide discussion team of black artists and historians from all artistic disciplines across Canada to develop the themes and approaches for Canada's virtual and in-person material exhibition in this museum. From that group, the Content Steering Committee was formed. It is now a standalone, independent, charitable organization with a charitable tax number. Thanks to our Foreign Affairs and International Trade Committee's report, Cultural Dis Diplomacy at Center Stage of Canada's Foreign Policy, the Canada Council for the Arts and Global Affairs have been funders of this project. Six black Canadian professional curators have been hired, one for each region and two for central Canada, given the size of their diaspora. The virtual aspect is progressing really well, and the Canadian Museum for Human Rights has become their partner. Next, they will engage with the creative challenge of the real exhibition, a challenge I know they will rise to. Canada's participation will be reflective of the honesty of Canada's black history, multi-generational refugee and immigrant, today's rich artistic expression by Canadian black artists, and will simultaneously set an exciting platform for our young people and generations to come. I applaud the Canadian team and their initiatives, which will bear positive, interesting fruit. Your Excellency, I want to thank you and Ghana for your foresight with this project and all those involved in the Canadian expression in it. I particularly want to thank Chantelle Gibson, poet, visual artist, professor, and chair of the Content Steering Group for her commitment, energy, vision, and support. Colleagues, this is an important expression of our cultural diplomacy in which music, dance, theater, writing, film, and visual art will excite visitors around the world. Canada's black artists are major contributors in every aspect of Canada's arts and cultural life and are core to the global creative sector. Thank you.